U.S. approval of Ukraine's use of U.S. long-range weapons has no impact on Germany's refusal to deliver Taurus cruise missiles, a government spokesman said on Monday. But Chancellor Olaf Scholz has ruled out providing Taurus long-range cruise missiles, which have a range of up to 500 kilometers and could in theory be used against targets far into Russian territory. The decision allowing Kiev to use the Army Tactical Missile System, or ATACMS, for attacks farther inside Russia comes as President Vladimir Putin positions North Korean troops along Ukraine's northern border to try to reclaim hundreds of miles of territory seized by Ukrainian forces. President Joe Biden's move also follows the presidential election victory of Donald Trump, who has said he would bring about a swift end to the war and raised uncertainty about whether his administration would continue the United States' vital military support for Ukraine. The Bundeskanzler was about informed dass äh, das Jahr von Präsident Biden zur Lieferung der Tacams ist, äh, äh, wie Sie wahrscheinlich äh, nachvollziehen können, auch ähm, sehr eng konditioniert, ähm, um beispielsweise äh, die Ukraine äh, gerade auch in der Grenzregion Kursk äh, zu unterstützen. Und nein, es hat keine Auswirkungen auf die Entscheidung des Bundeskanzlers, Taurus nicht zu liefern. Ukraine has the ability to completely destroy the Russian Federation's Black Sea Fleet, which it has deployed near Novorossiysk. This opinion was expressed on Channel 24 by military expert, pilot instructor and retired Ukrainian Armed Forces Colonel Roman Svitan. He recalled that according to the Russians themselves, on the night of November the 15th, drones attacked Krimsk in Russia, not far from the Kirsch Bridge. At the same time, the drones could probably hit the Russian airbase. It is currently known that 50 UAVs were used, while the Ukrainian side has not officially reported an attack. According to Svitan, the airbase in Krimsk was home to Russian tactical aviation, which they used to attack southern Ukraine. At the same time, Krimsk is located near Novorossiysk, where the Russian Federation transferred the vast majority of the surviving Black Sea Fleet, and therefore the local aviation also covers Novorossiysk Bay and the terminal. The destruction of this air defense sector is also an opportunity to finally approach the destruction of the Novorossiysk port and terminal. The expert said, Recall Russia's Krasnodar region came under a massive drone attack recently. One of the targeted districts hosts a military airfield. Governor Venyamin Kondratiev said that two municipalities in the region were targeted, with Russian air defense intercepting approximately 36 drones over the Krimsk and Krasnoarmysk districts. In Krimsk, debris from a drone fell on four residential properties, damaging the roof of one house and a car, according to Kondratiev. In the Krasnoarmysk district, drone debris allegedly caused damage to the roof of a private house. No casualties were reported. The Russian telegram channel Astra cited local sources suggesting the drones may have been targeting the Krimsk military airbase. Astra noted that earlier reports from local officials claimed 46 drones had been intercepted over the Krimsk area. Astra said that his statement was later removed without explanation. The Russian Defense Ministry later said that its forces had intercepted 51 Ukrainian drones overnight, including 36 over the Krasnodar region, 10 over the Azov Sea, 3 over Russian-occupied Crimea, and another 2 over the Belgorod region. Outmanned and outgunned on the battlefield, Ukraine has turned to homemade drones to try to exhaust Russian combat capabilities as much as possible from afar, targeting Russian military-industrial complex facilities, air bases, or oil refineries, while Ukraine regularly claims attacks deep into Russia, it is difficult to verify the authenticity of the reports and the scale of the damage inflicted. A drone attack was launched on the city of Izhevsk in Russia's Admersha Republic on the morning of November 17, local telegram channels reported. Ukrainian kamikaze drones targeted the Kupol factory in the city. The plant produces TOR anti-aircraft missile complexes, radar stations, and Garpia drones. 
One of the drones reportedly fell into the territory of the Enterprise, as a result of which the windows of one of the workshops were broken. The footage circulated on telegram channels shows an explosion after the drone strike. One person was injured during the incident. The workers of the factory were evacuated. It should be noted that Izhevsk, the capital of the Udmurt Republic, is located 1,200 kilometers from the border with Ukraine.